you'd think of if you were planning a celebration of diversity. But at midnight tonight, the city will take a collective jump to the left and maybe a little step to the right to honour one of its strangest sons. Now, when he left Hamilton, he was still plain old Richard O'Brien, but most now know him as Riff Raff, the odd job man who created and starred in the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Well, the city's giving him a statue. And Hugh Sunday, this isn't just any kind of statue, is it? No, it's a uh, very controversial statue. Um, it's going to be unveiled at midnight, as you said, just over there. Now, right now, Whoa! what's going on in the lead-up to the unveiling? Um, I think at about 20 to 11, they're going to have a bit of a um, Rocky Horror uh, sort of tribute, a bit of some songs from the show, that kind of thing. And right now, they've got some uh, comedians from Northland and the surrounding areas, and the crowd is just sort of starting to build. What's happened well, is, um, I don't know whether it's, I this is big news in Hamilton. This is kind of like the, the Lord of the Rings premiere for Hamilton. The whole road's been closed off. Place. We've got some freaks down on. here. As you can see, uh, people have gone to the spirit of things. They've got dressed up for the evening. I've been told by a reliable source, being Eric, that apparently you can't get fishnets this side of uh, the Bombay Hill. <laughs> oh, what a shame, you. So you didn't get any? Say again? You didn't get any. What a shame. You had to take your own, Hugh. Uh, yeah, well, I sort of thought about getting dressed up and all that kind of stuff, and then I thought, you know, I'm meant to be uh, an independent news reporter, and I can't be seen to be fraternising with the locals. Well, it's terrific, though, isn't it? Hamilton seems to be playing dress-ups at last. Oh, totally. I mean, this is like... If, I mean, as you can, if you, actually, let's, let's give these guys some more air time. Come on. Now, they're a bit of a minority. Most people haven't got dressed up. Oh, if you come back, up, if you come back over here, guys. you'll see most people are just, you know, it's your everyday sort of. In fact, this is the sort of crowd that the um, Auckland V8 races would have got if, um, <laughs> if they'd gone ahead. It's just, it's, it's just your middle of New Zealand kind of. I saw Alison Annan down there a little bit earlier on. She wasn't dressed up, but uh, all the local celebrities are here, and uh, the excitement's building. I can't. Now I don't know if you've got a shot of that before. Come down here, Harley. If you can see, okay, well, just to the right of where the light is, there's a big tower there, and come midnight, that that's where the riffraff statue is going to be. Um, I'm told that uh, some people aren't happy about the riffraff statue, but, um, you know, some people weren't happy about the sky tower, and got used to that as well. <laughs> what, what are you actually standing on, Hugh? Did they build you a tower in your honour? Ladies and gentlemen, 12, 10, on the map, 10, let's have the shame the guy from Northland's telling another joke. Um, this is basically <laughs> the, uh, the scaffolding tower at the back. There's some photo spots up here. It's a full-on palaver. We've got... Um, there's like a lighting set up, a stage back here. There's going to be a um, multimedia extravaganza over here. And uh, it's just, okay. uh, you know, actually, you know, I was going to say it's a pity we're on so late, but it's a pity we're not on even later because then we could actually get the unveiling. Hugh, um, Hugh, where is the man himself? Is he there tonight? Do we I haven't seen, well, it's, it's a weird thing, I've been trying to find him because I thought there was a small possibility that maybe I could get him here for the cross, but I haven't seen him every, uh, anywhere, but I keep seeing, because obviously everyone's dressed like him, so I keep seeing him, <laughs> oh, there he is, and I'll go up to him and I just, you know, it's obviously just a member of the public. Well, it could be dangerous to walk around Hamilton saying, there's Riff Raff, there's Riff Raff, no, there they go. Um, so how long is this going to oh, go on for? as just walking around Hamilton. <laughs> Say again? <laughs> how long is this going to go on for tonight, Hugh? The uncovering's at midnight. What happens then? Well, well, we had the option of coming home tonight or coming home in the morning. I chose to come home in the morning because I've got a feeling that this could go on until the wee hours. Um, come midnight, of course, is the unveiling. And then after that, I think it's just going to be a, a bit of a street party. Um, all the bars down, this is kind of like the Ponsonby Road of Hamilton. All the bars are open. There are people on the awnings. There are people sort of, you know, uh, getting their meals and just sort of, you know, a bit of an atmosphere, see? Those guys up there, you know, everyone's sort of making the most of it. And even the people all the way down the next block, I've got a big screen down there, but to be honest, the, the crowd actually isn't big enough anyway, so um, that might have been a bit of... Actually, I've heard, here's a fact for you, apparently the money spent on tonight is actually 1% of Hamilton's GDP. There you go, all on one awesome. big Friday night yeah, out. Yeah, it's so appropriate. Hugh Sunday, you have fun. Thank you.